The first game jitters are gone now, Dick. Both of these teams are looking to settle into their comfort zone in this second round matchup between the Kentucky Wildcats and the Colorado State Rams. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Rams are facing one of their toughest opponents of the season, Dick. How do they win? The keys are these. Number one, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. Second, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. Thirdly, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. The center takes the pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Snatches it away. Men have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Unloads, knocks it down. He does the sweet fake shot. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Trying to go inside. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Now the kick out for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The shooting guard with the ball. He attempts the three. He hits the shot. Number 54 is feeling great right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. And the jam. You better believe that was amazing, Mr. Nestle. This young man's the real deal. He's the truth, baby. I believe, Brad. I believe. What a flush. What a slam bam jam. What a way to make a statement. He drains the bucket. Let's go back and watch that basket again. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Goes up for two. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Number 32 is pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Makes the foul shot. Need to make that. Grabs the rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Gave it up. Dumps it in. The pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Up it inside. Good job defensively. They just won't get many open. Pressure in the basketball. Working it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. 
Number three takes the feed. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That's picked off. Hey, kid's got great defensive court sense. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He puts it up, way off target. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Moving it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Colorado State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Trying to feed inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. They look to get it to the inside. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for three. He makes the shot. Looking for a good shot. The crowd loves this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Pushing that basketball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Watch out, the five second count is getting close, Brad. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Gave it up. Number 13 gets the ball. Turns it over. for two. Doesn't go. Picks off the pass. On the outside, the center gets the pass. They'll work it around the arc. And his shot rejected. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Intercepted. They work the perimeter. Stolen away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Up and inside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Gave it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And working around the perimeter. Number 13 makes a great move to draw the foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Second one, no good. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. There's the trap. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. He shoots from the top of the key. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Number 25 makes the finger roll. And they come with a double team to stop it. Strips the ball. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. A frustration right there. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Step out on that screener. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 30 fakes the shot. Number 32 takes it away. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Up it inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Entry pass in the paint. The whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Anticipation defensively. Way out on top. Control. He gets the rejection. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 43 grabs it. Gave it up. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, took a chance, and he lost, baby. Picked out of the air. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He goes to the line for the first time. 
Gets the first shot. Second shot is no good. Look at that space. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Oh, oh, oh. Moving it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Colorado State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Downtown can't seem to find the stroke from the Arctic, and they're missing wide open looks too, Brad. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. He pump fakes. Nice fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Can't get the shot to go. Working it around the perimeter. He takes the shot. Way off target. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. He's got a nice shot fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Problem with that when you're front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. The fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. And a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw the foul. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The friendly bouncers aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. Fakes it. Turnaround jumper, in and out. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Number 54 is charged with the foul. Second personal foul. Working around the perimeter. Picks 
off the lazy pass. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Cleans the glass. Once you get that board, you better be looking up court. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Entry pass in the paint. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Jumped in front to take it away. the dribble gives it up number 13 with a reverse jam ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man team now that angle goes up for two perfectly executed everyone to get up and enjoy the moment including the cheerleaders first shot is good gotta make the freebies and they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line Dick they're gonna catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down Brad there's a double team waiting there the double team can't contain it. That's not how you work a double team, Brad. You and I got to go show them the double team. They work the perimeter. For two, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. defensively on him on the low block, Dick. He's trying three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. High post screen, going to use it. Fake. He's got an open look for the shot. Gave it up. Puts up the tray, off the rim, and no good. At the half, the Rams are up by 10. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. State shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Up, easy one. And 
he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the deuce, he puts it in with contact and all. The power forward receives the ball. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Ten on the shot clock. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Basket falls despite the contact. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. And he scores despite the hack. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a first player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Doesn't go. And he'll kick it back outside. Gave it up. In the paint. Here's a double team. The point guard receives the pass. Ten on the shot clock. Hey, you should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dribble gives it up. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Gave it up. For the deuce. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. shot trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing with the catch nice execution on the spin I'll tell you a great spin move to the basket do they need a timeout here yeah their voice is beginning to fade takes the pass in the paint with the fake Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The shooting guard handles the pass. He wants a three. Sinks it.
Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And a momentary look from three-point land. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. Good fake. Trying to draw some contact. He's just not. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He gets it to go. Wow, the defender got the worst of that hard screen. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From the top of the key, scorches the net. The power forward handles the feed. Off the rim and no good. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. They still don't score. Stolen ball. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. For two, can't get the shot to go. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two, drains it. Move it into the front court. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. He's got a high post flasher. Trying to stay with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job exploding in the basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Lobs it inside. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Moving it around the perimeter. 
He puts up the three ball. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Strips the ball. Up and inside. For two. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. There's the trap. He lets it go. How many bricks did we see? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? Picked off. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a deep... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Kentucky have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. To the action. Number 30 draws the personal. Dick, everything we could have asked for. Close game in the first half, still close here in the second half. And this is NCAA basketball. You know, Brad, they couldn't handle pressure defensively. I think rotating into the traps really created a nightmare. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. The Wildcats are behind by seven. Picks off the lazy pass. Number 30. He got the layup to go and the foul is called. Hey, he saw that he was going to get fouled, but he stuck to the path in spite of it. Goes to the line. He sinks it. Time to pick up the defense here now. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Here's a flash from the post up high. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of play. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. There's the screen up on top. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Number 21 is called for the foul. Second personal foul. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. He intercepts it. Pushes it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. Steal. Dump it inside. 
On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Controlling the ball. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Gave it up. Steals the pass. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He strips him clean. On the outside, they work it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And now they'll bring it up. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Great play to take that to the basket. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He can't get the bucket to fall. There's the pick. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Takes the outside jumper. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he'll kick it back outside. Look at that spacing. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They'll work it around the arc. Tries for two. That was nice. Goes out of bounds. Dump it inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Double team now, bad angle. Team comes up with it. He attempts to jump hook. He misses it. Got an open look if he wants it. Pulls the trigger. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Should have basketball help one another communicate. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. On a terrific job on a defense to beat him on the spot, Mr. Nestler. He's been making some great plays, but taunting. This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. You've got that right, Brad.
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent to boards up there. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of play. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brown, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Picks off the pass. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Picked out of the air. He'll take it the other way for the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the outside. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. Got a wide open look. Let's it fly. He misses the J. The Rams are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Takes away the pass. Fake shot rejected. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Thanks, Aaron. There might be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. Goes up for two. In and out. For the deuce. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Pushing that basketball. For two, can't get the shot to go. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. Great defense. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it? Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. And yet another foul. Stops 
the clock again. Number 43 goes to the charity strike. He misses it. And the free throw woes continue. This is an embarrassing display of free throw shooting. There's a double team waiting there. He attempts the three. Rims out. And the clock stops with a foul. To the charity strike. Rims off. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. With the big shot. Off the rim and no good. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that. And uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you got to win it. Keep on going when we get to that final Monday night in April. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they could run it on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Rams graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.